All right, y'all. So I was sitting there perusing on the internet, and I came across this app, and I was like, ain't no way in hell somebody not black created this app. Play it, y'all. I want you to know tonight that no matter what you're dealing with, if God can get glory out of your situation, it lets you know that God can trust you at the end of the story. That's why Paul picks it back up in the 28th verse. And we know that all things, they work together for the good of them that love God and to the called according to his purpose. Is it anybody here that know that it's working? Yes, I know it's working for my good. So I was like, was this like satirical? No. That thing is real. Y'all, musician Carlton Whitfield understood the assignment when he created the app Whoop Triggers, which can put an entire orchestra at your fingertips. He joins us now from Atlanta. And so, uh, first of all, you two people, y'all tripping. We should be at 1,000 likes by now. So hit the doggone button. Stop tripping. For the cuss y'all out in the church segment. So, so Carlton, <laughs> first of all, um, how did you come to... This point, but uh, because uh, one, we all know when preachers start hooping. First of all, some get mad when the uh, when 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 the director missed the cue, and so some start the music too early. Some are right. late, so you can see the hand signals where they like stop it, like or looking like come on. This here, you control the whole thing yourself. Right. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, you know, honestly, this this whole idea came from me. Uh, when I, I used to play for my dad's church ever since I was like five years old. I got a little older and I moved away. And because I'm from a small town where there aren't any musicians, I actually uh, created this for my dad. It was really just supposed to be just for him. Uh, he would call me sometimes. He'd be like, son, you know, I need tracks. You know, I would send him tracks or I need this kind of kind of song for this week. And I sent him a song. But one day he was like, son, what do I do when I'm preaching? I don't have anything, you know, for when I'm preaching. You know, I like to be backed up while I'm preaching. And so... I just went to work and, and I came up with this app for him. This is actually something that was in my mind when I was 17 years old a while ago. And I just I just never thought it would actually, you know, I would actually think of it again. And like, man, that would actually work for him. And so I created it for him. He had it testing it on his phone. And I just kind of was just happy with that. I wouldn't wasn't really worried about releasing it. I was actually scared to release it uh, to the world. Uh, and it, it actually set in my back end on the app store for six months before I even considered uh, <laughs> putting it out. So yeah, I'm just a musician and I just put what I know my dad would like into the app. And so that's where it came from. Uh, now I'm on the app store right now, go to my iPad. So I see uh, Whoop Triggers and I see Whoop Triggers Plus. What's, right. the, what's the difference? Right. Well, first of all, we call it hoop triggers. I know it looks like. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Well, yeah, because I'm. No, I'm first, right. Hoop. I mean, I'm looking at H O O P. But go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> so, so hoop triggers. So the the hoop triggers was the first version we came out with. Uh, it's a one time purchase, right? And so you get things like uh, backing up the preacher. You get some uh, music for altar call uh, and some shout music, uh, stuff like that. But with hoop triggers plus, you will get like more. It's a subscription. It's a, uh, it on goes, uh, we add stuff to it daily. We add stuff to it weekly, monthly. It's a lot more songs, a lot more things you can use uh, while you're preaching. And it's just, it just never ends. So we continuously add all the time. Uh, somebody in the chat room uh, said, uh, this is needed, especially when the uh, choir come in on the wrong key. <laughs> Say that one more time. Somebody in the YouTube chat said this is desperately needed when, when the choir come in on the wrong key. <laughs> but you know, I, I have background vocals on there too, so that's probably what they're talking about. Uh, this, you know, my, my app now has songs with background vocals, uh, full bands, the whole nine. You can literally run a whole service 
from your iPad, either the, the person that's preaching and do it, or sometimes, you know, everybody's a musician now with this with this app. You know, the, the sound person in the back is running it. I've had little kids uh, running it uh, for the past. Uh, just, it's, I made it to where it ends, but it's easy. Doesn't matter who you are, how old you are, even if you have no musical knowledge, it's still possible. Uh, well, that, that that is great, um, especially, like you said, if you're a small church, you don't have all of that. I mean, this right. makes you real big. And we're now living, of course, we're still dealing with COVID. A lot of people are still virtual. Uh, and so, hey, you good. Yeah, you know, a lot of people laughed uh, when they first saw it. I'm, I'll never forget. I was scared to release it. And exactly what I was scared of did happen. People laughed. They talked about me. They, they, they I mean, they really talked about me. Uh, but then when the pandemic hit, it seemed like things changed. Um, you know, people couldn't go to church. They couldn't, uh, the, the bands couldn't rehearse or they just wasn't, they were doing everything online. And so this app really, really aided people during the pandemic. And it still does to this day, whether you're in person or online, it doesn't matter. This app can benefit any church, uh, at any size. I've seen churches with two members all the way church to churches with 2000 members using this app. Uh, one church in Alabama, has three locations, so sometimes their musicians have to leave at the end of one service to go to the next location to start the next service. And so they use this app uh, at the first location to finish out the service. And the audience really never even knows, they never really even realize that, you know, the musicians are gone. So that's what I'm aiming at, is just to make this sound like the real deal. Uh, let's see, Monique, since you were there humming and stuff, uh, you, you go ahead and start first. Like, like your microphone not on, but go ahead. Oh, I apologize. Um, yes, hallelujah. I, I just want to say thank you because it doesn't just help to simulate a real church setting on Sundays. I downloaded years ago. Um, and when, when there were preachers, young preachers like me who didn't have their hoop straight yet, me, I'm, I'm young preachers like me. I'm, I'm the preachers. Um, and, and the track helped many of us going into empty churches with your music playing to prepare for a Sunday or for a conference or for something like that. So I want you to understand that the spirit of God is in the work that you do. And I don't care how many people laugh while you're doing it, because anything that aids in the delivery of the good news so that right. people can be set free, <laughs> then you're doing the work of God and God's going to bless the work that you do. And that's why you're on this distinguished platform tonight. And I don't have anything but more glory to add to your story. Thank you for your work. And may you continue and go further and further and further along your path. Wow. I appreciate that so much. That means so much to hear you say that. Y'all, excuse my son. He's in the background. I'm here with my kids. So it's all right. Somebody, yeah. <laughs> it's all good. Robert? We love the kids. So we know, we all know the internet ruins everything, basically. Uh, is there anything mm -hmm. that will stop people from, you know, taking this and using it for their OnlyFans page, using it for um, uh, uh, less than holy purposes, or is it just whoever wants to just download it and just free-for-all to go to town on it? As long as they pay that fifty nine ninety nine, but Carson, go ahead. Why, why would you want to keep them from it? Yeah, I'm, I'm just saying, I, you know, people be putting feet videos up and you got somebody whooping yeah. in the back. Robert, you know damn like, well you're going to download this app and put it to one of your gun videos. That's a good <laughs> ass idea. Stop oh. fronting. And those, and, and those cord alliances, those cord arrangements have oil on them. I've seen way too many people play like they're shouting and play like they're playing the organ and play like they're hooping and get the Holy Ghost. So I, I would love it. it. Robert, yes, put it with your guns. May, okay. may, may, the, oh, may okay. the anointed dancer do it for the pole. Take these tracks everywhere, y'all. Let's see what happens. Just saying. Carlton, go ahead. No, I mean, you're right. You know, I've seen people playing and they catch it. You know, uh, I've seen I've seen it all. I've seen, I see more videos than probably anybody because people tag me in all of them, right? And so I've, I've seen people ordering Starbucks with the app. I've seen people ordering Popeye's chicken with the app. You know, I can't control what people do uh, with it, but I can say that the people who need it, the people who are using it, uh, it's benefiting them. And that's really what matters to me. Um, you know, Amen. we can't control, you know, what they do with your app. Yeah. <laughs> like I said, pay that $59.99, we good. 
Uh, again, I, look, and, and look, look, first of all, here's the deal. Um, folk going to laugh. I had people telling me we were going to fail. Folk telling me, you don't know what you're doing. And all I did was I laughed at them. And I said, I ain't doing it for you. Just watch what goes down. And so that's why I'm worried about it. Uh, and again, so like, like I say, when I saw it, uh, I was sitting here. Uh, and I was like, hold up, this actually is a, this is a real app. And again, as I started going through it, yeah, as I started going through the app, taking a look at it, uh, folks, you can actually uh, see when you, when you go through it, uh, you, you see all the different ratings and stuff along those lines. And, and again, when you now realize, again, how our game has changed. I spent a lot of time during COVID helping a lot of preachers deal with their live streaming. They had no idea about a lot of this stuff. I'm talking about I was doing sessions, folk were calling me personally because they were out to lunch on this whole deal. And, and the reality is, if you're trying to actually be bigger than you are, take advantage of technology. Now, I'm sure there's a preacher sitting here saying, man, look, I can't sit here and work my iPad at the same time when I'm preaching. Fine. Let somebody sit over there. Uh, and then when's that right time, control it all. And so, uh, and, and also, uh, when it, so other than the part we heard when it comes to hooping, so what else is on the app uh, that's bigger and broader. What, what else, what, what other features do you have? Okay, so yeah. Shout me. So aside from, people always used to ask me, what, what happens if they start shouting, right? So we have music. different shout musics on there that people can use. And it's not just like you just play a track and it's just over. This is, this is you can actually control the intensity of the music. You can change the sections. You can go back to different sections. It doesn't end until you end it. And so it makes it feel like it's an actual musician playing. Also, a lot of things, a lot of people ask me, well, how do I know what key the preacher is preaching in? Like, how do I even know? If I don't know anything about music, this app can actually detect the key that the preacher is in for you. And so there's a key detection uh, uh, feature on this app just for that. You can also play behind a singer uh, with this with this track, with this uh, app. And I'm not saying push play and it just starts playing. Like, if you ever think of a song that has no tempo, it's just a piano player playing behind them. You can actually do that with this app too. Songs like Amazing Grace and, and stuff like that. Um, Praise and Worship, we have uh, Benediction songs. It doesn't matter. I, I just covered a whole spectrum of the service from start to finish. No matter what, we have something on there. And if it's not on there right now, it'll probably be there next week. <laughs> All right, then. Y'all, it's uh, Hoop Triggers there. So you got Hoop Triggers, Hoop Triggers Plus. Y'all check it out. This is precisely why we created our Tech Talk segment uh, to feature uh, brothers and sisters who are in technology, creating their own apps to help folks out. Uh, here are the social media. Uh, C-Dub is Facebook, Hoop Triggers on Twitter, C-D-U-B-W-R-L-D on Instagram, hooptriggers.com is the website. Carter, we appreciate it, man. Thanks a lot. Thank you so much for having me. I really, really appreciate it. And I, I do not take this for granted. <laughs> All right, no. then. And so uh, I, I might have to sit here and download the app. So when I do one of my deconstructions when I'm cracking on these lawyers on the show, uh, I can go ahead and, <laughs> uh, and, uh, and, hit, and hit the button while I'm talking. I appreciate it, man. Thanks right. a lot. All right. Thank you so much. All right, folks. Back to our whole Mark Unfiltered video in just one moment. Folks, Black Star Network is this. I'm real um, revolutionary right now. <laughs> Support this man, Black Media. He makes sure that our stories are told. Uh, thank you for being the voice of Black America, Roller. I love y'all. All momentum we have now, we have to keep this going. The video looks phenomenal. See, there's a difference between Black Star Network and Black Owned Media and something like CNN. You can't be Black Owned Media and be scared. It's time to be smart. Bring your eyeballs home. You dig? Thank you.